So yeah, just go for it. Just ask people. You'd never know what they might be right, right, right. Um, just thought to share a wee bit about Joseph. Um, some thoughts that I've had as well. Just his funeral is going to be on the twelfth of April. That's um, eleven o'clock at Darnell Cemetery, and then eleven thirty here in, in the church. Um, so if you're able to make it for that, it's the twelfth of April. It's Tuesday. So, in Joseph, you know, what an amazing testimony he had, and I was touched on that this morning, and it's something that um, you have to think about a lot as well. Because he, he would share that, those stories of him as a young boy going to the synagogue and learning all of the, all of the Jewish teaching, but then this amazing exploration into what that actually meant and the realisation that all these scriptures were fulfilled in Jesus, they're all pointing to Jesus and, and that then he would find this Messiah that the Jews stumble about for, he found them and it changed his life and so Joseph loved to praise God, whether that was filling out songs or whether that was uh, leading us in prayer. Gavin mentioned just a couple of weeks ago, you know, like, he headed out to get a glass of water. Um, just what, what an amazing thing it was to watch uh, Joseph and Isaac together there and um, sing God's praise and worship the Lord. Gary and I were often given specific uh, instructions from Joseph. He'd say, uh, if we're going to talk to, I worship you, Almighty God, and there's nothing like you. Can we sing it at least three or four times, please? Because <laughs> <laughs> <I'll be just laughs> <laughs> and the, the other day, at the, the dinner table, the kids and I were reminiscing about what are the what are the phrases, the iconic Joseph phrases that he would use in prayer that you'll maybe remember, you'll be able to forget, and uh, phrases with these things. So he was saying, a multitude of souls, you <laughs> pray for those, and your hand will be there. Yeah, 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 that one. On fire with a love and a zeal for God. Yeah, yeah, that was a Joseph one. Out of darkness into the most wonderful and the most beautiful. And it often started on a Sunday morning, we say, We come into your throne of grace. And we, we, love, we love to hear him pray. Even though he would tell us, Oh, I need to pray, but much better than that. <laughs> he would say, When we read the scriptures together, Oh, I need a much better reader than I am. She reads wonderful. And he was, he was smitten with irony. No one compared with the wine that God had given him. And what's a parents from the toddlers and former teenagers who are now growing up who are at the uni and uh, kids from the Sunday school being in touch to say, you know, how they were sad that they, to hear that Joseph had passed away. There were so many great memories from camps and from the youth club and um, just think of like, we used to like using these photography skills. So in so many years we had, we would be sitting in the, the grass outside the scallop on that bank and, and you'd be get, trying to get them all together or somebody would still be upstairs having a coffee and but, you know, the kids would be facing the wrong way and, and people would be, you know, annoying each other and he would try to get them all to smile. He'd never say, didn't tell them to say cheese. He'd be like, give us a jelly! <laughs> give us an A! Give us an A! That would be the photo, that would be the moment that we'd be catching uh, our camp. There's no one I know who was led by the Holy Spirit more to give testimonies to complete strangers. Not even like this. Just, this is natural to him as, you know, I don't know, brushing your teeth in the morning. You know, it was just something that he expected would be, would be happening. And, and some of those, some of the folks who have still who've got testimonies, even this week from them, you know, we don't know the impact of that, but I'm really excited that now there'll be people in heaven just now that Joseph will be bumping into who are there because he they accept the testament from him. So that that's just amazing. That's amazing. It was a she was an elder here for, for years and he taught us so much they taught us so much through life as well. About prayer, about evangelism and action. But upholding the believers in the persecuted church, you know, a few weeks ago, we were down in the nation, 
Since you've been raised to be like Christ, set your sights on the health of him. For where Christ sits in the place of honour at God's right hand, think about the things of heaven, not the things of the earth. For you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ in God. And when Christ who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, you will share in all his glory. So, put to death the sinful, earthly things lurking within. Have nothing to do with sexual immorality, impurity, lust, and evil desires. Don't be greedy, for a greedy person is an adult for washing the things of this world. Because of these sins, the anger of God has come. You used to do these things when your life was still part of this world, but now is the time to get rid of anger and rage and malicious behaviour and slander and dirty language. Don't lie to each other. For you've stripped off your old sinful nature and all its wicked deeds. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your Creator and become like Him. And this new life, it doesn't matter if you're Jew or Gentile. Circumcised or uncircumcised, barbaric, uncivilized, slave or free. Christ is all of us. He lives in all of us. Since God chose you to be the whole people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender heart of mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowances for each other's faults and Forgive anyone who offends you. Remember what we do so you must forgive us. A 
above all, hold yourselves with love which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, we are called to live in peace. And all who command you. Let the message about Christ and all its richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom and the gifts. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks through him to God the Father. Wives, submit to your husbands as is fitting for those who belong to the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and never treat them harshly. Children, always obey your parents, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, don't aggravate your children or become discouraged. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything you do. Try to please them all the time, not just when they're watching you. Serve them sincerely, because you're very familiar with the Lord. Work willingly at whatever you do, as though you're working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember, the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward. And the master you're serving is Christ. But if you do what is wrong, you'll be paid back for it immediately. For God has no favorites. Father God, we thank you for your Lord. We thank you for the Lord Jesus, for all that he means to us. Father, we thank you for our remembrance of him today. And Father, we thank you too for, for Joseph. Thank you for his life and for all that, all that he meant to us as a fellowship team. For the blessing that it's been to have him in this place. To serve together, to, to learn together, to worship together. And now as you've called him home, Father, we just we pray that we would be people who exemplify these things that we've spoken about Joseph. Commit to prayer. Devoted to devoted to worship. Unable to, to keep the good news of the gospel to ourselves. And Father, we pray, pray especially for, for Irene and for Johan and Sarah. Mm. That you would comfort them. Thank you. And for, G for Joseph, he's in that place where he is experiencing the glory of the one who he's born so faithfully. So we give you thanks in the name of the Lord Jesus.